Hello everybody, what is up? It is me Aditya from Roblox Visuals here and today I'm going to show you guys how to make one of those cool looking simulator like icons. So I'm getting this render that I'm using from a GFX artist named Anomaly. His Twitter will be in the description. He's really really good, really efficient, worth the price. I'd recommend you guys check him out. Um, yeah, thank you Anomaly for hooking me up with this free render to use in this example. Um, so for the icon, what we're going to want to do is first, we're going to want to create another layer, make it transparent, right? And now for this, what we're going to want to do mainly is use the gradient tool. So now what we can do with the gradient tool is come up with like a nice little, I guess, variation of sorts, right? So let's say what we want is sort of an orangish, orangish blue. All right, perfect. So now let's just put that in as a gradient and there we go but now what we're gonna do is cut this like this so now if you guys look there is a uh, the render here we'll put this here put this here the lighting might not actually be the best for this the render does not really fit the, I guess, sort of, not really. <laughs> but other than that, you guys know pretty much what to do with the render. You just place it here. We have a nice little gradient on the background and this will pretty much give it some like something to pop out. So right here we have like one of these sort of patterns that we see a lot of these groups that tend to use. And for this, all we gotta do, align this to the middle and we turn down. Transparency. And then now we make our guy visible. Perfect. Check out robloxvisuals.com for the latest Roblox graphics templates. We have just added some new FPS shooter UI templates, some full simulator UI sets. Check it out and use code YT for 15% off all purchases. And now, so pretty much what we're going to do here is I'd recommend you guys have bit of a more cartoonish render. I can show you guys some right here. As we see, it is a very, very nice render. It is done by a GFX artist named KPH. He co I commissioned him for my own project of sorts. It's a Japanese military game. And what we're going to do here is, since we have this whole cartoony aesthetic already, we can put it in here. And so what we see a lot of these other games do, I can show you guys an example. Um, let's find a normal simulator here, like this bubblegum simulator. As you guys see, right, the whole entire bubblegum simulator aspect, what they're doing is they're just putting like some sort of brush stroke in, in the back of their render, as you guys see. So ours is pretty much the same, other than they just have a rainbow gradient instead of this two color variation. And to make a rainbow gradient, all you have to do is go to this gradient tool, add some more colors, and then make it a radial. Radial instead of linear. And we can add something like this. Um, it's really not that hard. And to add these strokes, all you'll have to do is create a new layer beneath the render. And then you're going to have to get um, your brush of choice. Mine's going to be a third brush. I always put the hardness to zero, size maybe a little bit smaller. Yep. And now for the brush, what are we going to do? We can do something. Yes, we'll do some of this color, whatever that's worth. And then what we can do on here is go here, do an outer glow. Or if you guys don't want to do the manual method, you guys can actually take the shortcut way and just go to blending options. Go to um, outer glow right here. Pretty much just turn up the size here. This actually does. It looks better, but with the brush technique, you're able to get more, I guess, precise exactly how you want it. Perfect. Exactly what we'd want, right? Uh, you guys can just mess around with the colors. I really didn't go into that depth with colors in general in this tutorial, right? I'm just trying to show you guys a really basic simulator sort of icon. And you guys want to always keep in mind, always have a render that matches it. Anomaly, he provided me with an amazing render, right? As you guys can see, this is actually very good. 
but it just didn't match our whole bright colored theme, right? So we had to import a whole nother cartoony looking character. So it's, it's just rendered in a more cartoony style. So if you guys want to save on some GFX or something like that on your upcoming games, all you'd actually have to do is just commission a render. You guys are able to make this simple, easy background in the in, in not even a couple minutes. This what if, if you sped this up, it'd probably take like 45 seconds. It's really not that hard. Just a gradient and putting an opacity low over a pattern overlay. That's pretty much all for today, guys. And I do recommend you guys head on over to our shop. I will be releasing um, some backgrounds like these, right? But they'll be a lot more professional, right? They'll be a lot quicker to use, right? All you have to do is just import this, put the put the render on top of it, and bam, done. So pretty much I'll be releasing a 15-part UI pack, I guess. Not really a UI pack, more of an icon pack, right? And it's going to have all these designs in Photoshop format. So you guys can play around with them. It's going to have different variations, not only this whole entire line thing. It's going to have swirls, everything you guys could expect. And yeah, that's pretty much all for me today. Hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any suggestions for new tutorials, please leave us a comment. Thank you. See ya.